everybody. I'm Gemma. I run a business in the morning, and I'm a clown in the night. Well, stand-up comedian. And you probably think that's cool. Well, wait and see what my kids find cool. My kids find cool that I can actually tie my shoes and count until 10 at the same time. But today I wanted to tell what I find cool. And what I personally find cool is to be able to be here in such an inspiring event with so talented speakers that really blow me away. So I remember um, the day that Delphine came to me and said, hey Gemma, why don't you come and try to summarize the talks and the day a bit while well, you make people laugh? <laughs> I was like, make Germans laugh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... Well, 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 yeah, you say that, but I remember my first day I was in Germany. And someone, a German, tells me, can you say 555 squirrels in German? Uh, so, yeah, I feel the challenge, but I'm going to try my best. Nevertheless, um, I wanted to start with, um, I, I was, was told that in order to start a conversation and get all your audience engaged, you need to tell something personal. So I'm Spanish. You maybe notice now, eh? by that a bit. But I'm married to a German, a very, very German guy. So German that the other day he tells me, Gemma, sit down. We need to talk. And I was like, oh my god, the recycling talk comes again. <laughs> But, but well, it's, it was not that. And I was like, oh God. Then I started to get very stressed out, starting to remember the cases I know. I, probably you heard lately about this uh, Melinda and Bill Gates case, the divorce. I mean, at least she ended up with the house, he, and he only with the windows. <laughs> See, bias, that's again, how, why, how can it be that we female tend to be always the ones that end up worse? I mean, even if you think about it, if you go to companies, right, most of the diversity and inclusion officers tend to be female. Well, that's probably because we get paid less. Hmm. Yeah, okay, like pay gap. That's something it should not happen. And that's exactly one of the reasons why these t talks about inclusion are so key. Um, I get CVs of female and male in a daily basis. And I'll give you an example the other day. Um, I'm looking for a f junior account finance manager. So there was someone before who was looking for a finance role. Please, let's talk. Perfect. Um, and I, gave, I received a females, right, female CVs, that they all their requisites are filled out. Perfect. But I received this male CV, and I thought, like, oh, that's an interesting one. Not one CV, not one single line fits on, this, on, on his requirements of what he can do. So I contacted him and said, hey, why do you think you can make this job? And he said, well, it said junior controller, FMD, and I'm a male. <laughs> so that's how guys, how they're, how, how much they can do and what they think, how the beers, how can we need to change. That's why I think these talks today are also so inspiring. And I wanted to start talking about one of the talks that touched me the most, Tisha, that was amazingly insane. <laughs> that was like one of a kind. And... And I actually thought at the beginning, oh, I actually don't want to find Tisha in the gym. I'm going to be a bit scared. But then I talked to her, and I, I cannot wait. Huh? <laughs> like, <laughs> let's go, let's go. It's going to happen. And it's so amazing to see how, how, in her case, bodybuilding, right? Or how can you get your strength to get out of your comfort zone? And how can she make things happen? How she actually came out of her prison. And on the other hand, she was able to make the street safe. One guy here and the phone calling the police on the other. See, two, it's two birds in one shot. Well done. So uh, that was one of the talks, the, one of the talks that we had today about. But I would also wanted to mention, uh, actually the first one, when Diana talked about the hormonal makeup and why I finally am able to know what, how, why I'm this dragon I am. <laughs> it's not, it's not I, 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 I was born like this. I cannot do anything. And how can your biological things make you change, right? Or what you like, it's all gonna come depending on your prenatal hormones. So now I have a lot to complain to my parents. <laughs> there was a lot of testosterone going on there. And that's probably the reason behind. 
Another, Sophie, another talk um, I really enjoyed also was the Sophie, uh, talk of Sophie, where she was talking about how she hates networking and whiskey, although she didn't talk so much about how she hates sauna, so I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was amazing to see how, how the powerful, right? How powerful this kind of networking events can be. And let's remind what she said, what's important in networking. It was first preparation, second one presence, post-connection, and then practice. So now you have it all. And I talk, I was also, um, it was very emotional. It was the one of Sora, right? She was uh, telling about when she was a kid and she felt there was no role models, right? Or, or people she could feel connected to as a kid and how she actually was the game changer. How he said, hey, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give Foller Farben, right? That in order to make communities be able to show what they can do and sell there. And maybe, I mean, maybe East Germans can also apply. I mean. <laughs> okay, and last, uh, the last talk we had. Last but not least, Frederica, right? How she was, how can she make things happen? Being the big one in the room. And how we all can support each other. Who's our Barbara? Who's that Barbara that, need, that we can find, but also that we can be? Which leads us to actually the talk panel we were discussing about how to, be, how to become a change maker. And I think the, the question came, right? What can you do to be a change maker? And some people are gonna tell me, well, I need to wait, you know, the lunar to be in ascendant Scorpio. <laughs> no guys, no, just make it happen. What can you actually do? For example, now, here comes, how many people in this room are generation X or baby boomers? Quite a bit. How many here are millennials? Woohoo! <laughs> okay, and now comes, how many are Gen Z? Hmm, <laughs> not so loud, not so loud, huh? on TikTok, it's a bit higher. <laughs> yeah, so how, how, we, how we all need to make sure, right? How we all wanna work together for a brighter future, how the prejudice is also affecting us. For example, Gen Z, please stop being angry at us because we are destroying the world. <laughs> Guys, we are angry too. <laughs> we just have a bit of a back pain and the hangover <laughs> lasts a bit longer, but we're with you, we're with you. But do what, you know who you should be pissed to? The baby boomers. <laughs> <laughs> They're the one who started everything. At that time though, things changed. Um, they actually had tall workers. Do you know what, probably Gen Z doesn't know what a tall is. Oh, probably Gen Z doesn't know what a worker is. <laughs> oh, I see prejudices, prejudices. That's exactly what we were talking, that we should not be having. So, we, we, the, the dear, right, where this is so inspiring and why we all are here together is because we have one same goal. We should all of us be the last generation to have to glue ourselves on the floor, <laughs> on the streets. We should also be the last generation that are ashamed because things that are happening due to our race, to our politics, regarding our uh, gender, about our religion. And we should also stop being ashamed that sometimes when we're alone, we're watching Love is Blind. <laughs> and not only that, we're watching it and we are crying because it's not blind. <laughs> yeah, that affects the dating scene in Berlin. I mean, Probably you noticed, I mean, there's always the, the clubs dark, no, underground, not much thing. It's that or Kit Kat, right? And Kit Kat, um, well, remind me a bit when I was fundraising. Huh? You, need, you need to strip naked yourself, I mean, the business, in order to get some investors to talk to you. So, as um, I hoped I could summarize a bit what, this, what the day was about, and make you laugh a bit, my time is going to an end, so I wanted to end up with, uh, with a thought. And the thought is, um, do you think that the, 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 the change just happened, no? Or is it the conquest of our everyday work? Oh shit, did I say conquest now? <laughs> a lot of French here, huh? Spanish, English, la conquista. Okay, no, I don't, I, I, that's not cool. I, I don't like this thought. I'm gonna change it. So I'm gonna leave you for a new thought. And the last thought, it's really gonna be this one, it's not everything that is faced can be changed, 
but nothing can be changed until it's faced. That was James Baldwin, an American writer and civil rights activist. Thank you very much. I hope it. <laughs>